Okay, everyone, this is our nursery classroom. Just so that everyone has an idea of what we're looking at before, I usually let parents come in and spend a bit of time with their kids getting settled. But since we can't do that this year, I'm just gonna give you a sense of the layout. So normally these desks, they've just been cleaned, so they're bare now, but they all normally have, would have someone's name on them, will have assigned seating. You could see they're spaced a little ways apart for the purpose of social distancing. My smart board is up here, and I'm just working on these, so it's open right now, but all of the iPads are there. Now, we're not going to be doing too much of letting kids touch the smart board at the moment, and this here um, is only going to be used about once, once a week for each group of students so that the iPads can be sanitized and have time to rest. Here's our calendar. We'll be just starting that. And everybody also notices my walls in some places look kind of busy. See all the posters? These are part of the daily routine. I will be doing going through these with the kids. Rules, ABCs, hygiene stuff, numbers, letters, um, months, emotions, the six of God prayer. All of this gets done every day. Um, and I'll be adding more and more to it. But by the end, sort of mid-October or so, the kids will be familiar with all this stuff. So there's a reason why my boards are so busy. It's because of that daily routine, and I'll be posting videos on that soon. Now, one thing too different from the past, you see there's not toys or craft supplies out in the open. Everything's in drawers or in cupboards, except for the books. And the kids are just going to be given what they're going to use for the day. So, for example, all the craft supplies that normally we would have access to are in here. And they'll be given in individual bags. I'm going to show you the bags here quickly. My bags look like this. And these can go home and also have everything that the students have to work in for the day. So you look here, we've got scissors, markers, glue, and blackboards. This is stuff that we'll be using all year round. One of the first things that we're going to be starting with is just name tracing. You can see here, this is laminated and so that we can practice it at home. And this is something that we can just, oh, sorry, all apologies for my hand here. This is something that we can practice and wipe down every day. There will also be letter stuff going home shortly. So keep an eye out for that. But every week there will be name tracing and letters, um, as well as a bit of coloring material. And other stuff is going to, to range all the time. So if you see here, this is Kiowa's work, and I can just take that off with the little eraser that's in there. And we're back to square one where we can work on that again. Now, so as you can see, that's all there. No microwaves. I mentioned that on the phone before. This is extra materials, masks, Kleenexes, and pencil crayons for and uh, markers for when we need to replenish the, block, the boxes. All of these puzzles will only be used maximum once a week, and we're not going to start with those, so they'll stay up for now. Um, soft textured stuff is in here. And if anyone has any questions too, I have a lot of clothing that was donated, but that we're not able to use just yet. So that's in one of my back rooms. But if anybody needs material for your kids in terms of clothing, I have lots. And a couple more things. Please get your child accustomed to the idea of standing where they're asked on these little squares. A lot of public places have this so we should be getting used to them. And also when we walk out to the buses, I have these ropes with spaced out handles on them. We're only gonna be using every second handle just for social distancing sake. But again, this is just to get them into routine. Routine will take a little while. And once I've got some more of the routine stuff down, I'll be posting some videos on that as well. All right, and you will also shortly see alphabet stuff taken home. The um, nursery do take books from time to time, and these ones you will only be able to keep for about half the week. But for example, that's letter A. We don't go through the alphabet in order. We go through it based on what sounds kids find it easiest to make first. 
So um, yeah, I will su supply most everything except for indoor shoes, lunches, and masks. So please make sure your children come with that. And I'm very, very excited to see them next week. Um, and you guys can show kids this little video or pictures of the classroom if you'd like so that they have an idea of what's happening. Okay, bye-bye, y'all, and thank you very much.